Corey Sperry, played tight end for the National Football League. Today's pro tip for you is how to catch the ball and secure it. The first thing you want to do when you're catching the ball is you want to have your hands ex accepting the ball. You want to have them uh, outside of your body here with your elbows bent because the stiffer your arms are, you know, the ball comes, it'll bounce and hit and bounce off. So that's why you're going to have nice and loose. But before you do that, you got to make sure when the ball's coming to you, you have your hands nice and relaxed. And you, you always want to make a diamond. That's how I was taught and that's, what, that's what's gotten me this far. You want to make a diamond and invite the tip of the ball into the diamond. That way all your hands can wrap around the ball and it just secures it for your next job. The other thing is a, a lot of people make the mistake of thinking when they catch the ball they have to be firm with it. You have to have soft hands and that's, that's one thing that they, they taught us in the NFL is you have to have soft hands so when the ball hits, I mean, it doesn't, you don't want to slap. That's like throwing a ball into a foam pit. It's going to sit and settle and be nice, or you throw it off the cement and it'll bounce around. Same thing with your hands. The softer they are, the easier it is for you to catch it. So you don't want to go too aggressive to the ball with your hands. Another thing is, is, is a lot of people catch with the chest. Let the, let the ball come in and hit the body. That's, that's the same thing as the example I just said. If it comes and hits, it's going to bounce off. And you can't have that, you have to be able to catch and secure it because if you have your hands open and the ball comes in, hits your chest, it's going to bounce, it might have a chance of bobbling. And the other thing people don't think about is you're always going to be hit. No matter, if you have the ball, the ball's coming to you, you are going to be hit. So if your hands are out and the, the ball, somebody hits you in the back before the ball gets there, your hands are still here. They're not affected by the hit. So the ball hits your hands, your, your back might be hit, but nothing moves. And that comes from the, the mistake of hitting your chest. If you let the ball get into your chest and the guy hits you in the back, that disrupts the ball path, that disrupts your chest, everything, the ball bounces out, coach get, pulls you out of the game, you're not playing anymore. Another, another thing I want to talk about is when you catch the ball, the security of it. Because in, in football, this is the most important thing. It doesn't matter what happens as long as it's in your hands, you don't lose it. So as soon as you catch the ball, Depending on where your route is running, you're running inside, you're running outside, you would just want to tuck it into your arm. As soon as you catch, that should be the first, that should be the second thing in your mind. First is catch, second is down. And it all helps, that helps very much is with your eyes. You never want to catch the ball looking here. You know, you might get lucky and catch a few, of course everybody does, but after a while you're gonna start dropping them. So as soon as the ball comes in, you want to watch that ball all the way to your arm. So as soon as the ball comes in the hands and you are able to watch it, you secure it, then mentally you know you secured the ball, then you're allowed to do what you're, you're supposed to. You're supposed to run with the ball, try to score touchdowns. So as soon as the ball comes in, you tuck it, make sure both points of the ball are secured. You don't want the ball up, because somebody can come down, knock it through, there's a fumble. You catch it, you want to come here, you don't want the ball too high here, the point exposing again, somebody comes underneath, knocks it out again. So as soon as you catch the ball and you bring it, you want point in between your bicep and your chest and you want to squeeze it and just act like it's the most precious thing on earth. You don't want to lose it. So you just hold it tight and you run. And the other thing is a lot of people do when they run is they flail it around. Always just keep it tight. You can run fast with the ball here, but you can't run fast when you don't have the ball because you'll be in, on the sidelines because you fumbled it. So just make sure as soon as you catch it, you tuck it in and you go. Another thing I wanted to talk about is, is just the coordination with your hands. Just little drills you can do, little things. What you do is you sit there with your hands, is if, if their quarterback's not gonna throw you a perfect ball every time. So you always have to have your hands ready. Not every ball is gonna be perfect right to the football. So what you gotta do with your hands is you gotta get them strong. You gotta be able to familiar with the ball. You gotta know over the head catches, how your hands have to be, you know, basket. If it's a low, you have your pinkies together. It's always just hands together. And it's just easier that way to work with your quarterbacks to catch the ball, that way you don't fumble. And then there's other drill, there's other also catches other than the straight ahead, is you have underneath, the ones where they're, they're low, below your waist. Below your waist, you're, you can't drop and catch the ball like that because some of them are way too low. So when the ball does come low, you want to invite that ball, have pinkies together so that gives you a guidance of where you want the ball. And as soon as the pinkies are together, you want to catch the ball and let it catch here so your palms wrap around the ball. That way you secure it and then you can bring it up just as quick as possible. That's one of your harder catches. The lower the ball, 
the more your hands have less to give because they just don't bend that way. They don't bend backwards where the ball is coming. So that's when your tougher catch is what you got to work on constantly. The other one is over the head, any over the shoulder long route. You have same thing, your hands basket. So when the ball does drop, it hits your pinkies. Your pinkies are together, it hits them. As soon as they hit them, your, other, your hands should fold around it and then you're allowed to tuck it. Now that one's more of your touch, like I said, having soft hands. If you have stone hands, which a lot of people do, and it hits, it's gonna bounce off and go forward. But if you have soft hands, you're, just gonna, you're gonna accept it in, grab the ball, pop, and secure it. And a lot of things with hands is just little drills you can do is just always grab a football, you know, just, oop, that wasn't good. Just grab the football and just pop it up and down, do it at the same time. It builds hand strength, it teaches you everything about what to do with the ball. That way, you're, you're comfortable with every part of the ball. If you're always just here, and then a ball might come wrong and you hit this, you're not comfortable knowing that spot of the ball and how to catch it and how to use it. So that always worked for me, it was just always jump, jumping up and down the ball in your hand, you know, rotating it, always doing little things like that, get you comfortable with the ball. That way, when you're running and the ball comes a little awkward, you know what position of the ball is coming, how to catch that ball. And it also has a lot to do with pro tips, but also how you, 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 you got to constantly stay on everything yourself. Like I said, we just went over how to catch a ball straight ahead, how to catch it low, ball security, most important thing, don't forget about that one, and how to catch the ball over the back of your shoulder. Uh, once again, Corey Sperry, appreciate you guys. This is Pro Tips for you.